you can use scenarios to help drive home one of the common phrases or conversational exchanges that might happen with that theme. So for example, in Pet Week, we often use the scenario of asking a person if you can pet her dog. In addition, it's very helpful if the teacher can find another teacher or really any other adult who's willing to play the part of the second person so that that adult and the teacher can act out the scenario together and model it two or three times all the way through for the students in the class. May I pet your dog? Sure, you can scratch his ears. So then what happens next is the friend or the other teacher that you've gotten to take the other role can stay in that position and then I, the teacher, would give my part to one of my students, which leaves me available for facilitating the language that the child needs to use while he's talking throughout the scenario. Hi. I like your dog. Thank you. Is, is he a girl or a boy? Try this. Is it? Is it a girl or a boy? He's a boy. Does he bite you? No, he doesn't bite. Can I pet him? Can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? Sure, you can scratch his ears. I can anticipate that there are gonna be some errors with this because that's the whole reason we're doing this scenario in the first place. This is a skill that the children don't yet have. So as errors occur, I say, okay, wait. Let's think about what happened here. And I explicitly tell the child what didn't go right and then I tell him what he can do instead. And then I say, okay, now let's start over from the beginning. And then we repeat that process each time there's some kind of error with the script.